By order of the Council of the Keepers, you must come with us. Garrett, be reasonable. Logic dictates... Leave. But we must... Now! Has your wealth of knowledge grown so vast that you've lost all hunger for more? Is there no more trust between us then? <sighs> Let's make this fast. My hand is copper, my brow is lead. Suffer me in a red patina, swept along in a molten flow to a sad eternity. My stride interrupted, my thoughts untimed. My tears are become drops of silver that shatter the crystalline fern. I plead the wind to sweep us away. Nice poem. Not poetry, prophecy. The metal age is upon us. I picked the gilded apple from the iron tree. I wipe the rust from my brow. Iron trees? Not in my part of town. Find the humor if you must. But can you tell me truly, Garrett, are there any trees in your part of town? I will answer for you. There are not. Destiny and danger are still focused on the one, the renegade who is both brethren and betrayer. Well, you got the danger part right anyway. Tell you what, you keepers can plant a few shrubs about town and... I'll take care of me. I'll find my own way home. You're a fool! Do you not understand what is at stake? Did you not hear the interpreter's words? Yes, Keeper Orland. He has heard. Do not despair. Let me go after him. Alone. Not to persuade, but to leave the door open between us. One more moment, if you will, Garrett. One moment. You have trouble, my friend. Danger from someone who hired Truart to kill you. Yes? Then take this. The sooner you are done with your business, the sooner you will help us. Don't count on it. My heart, it ceases. My heart, it ceases. My breath undrawn, my eyes, my eyes forever, forever focused, focused on this sanguine metal, on the sanguine dawn. metal dawn.